guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Hopped in the ST. I'm trying to drive this car a little bit more than often. I think in the past year I've driven this car like 5,000 miles or something. Something, something in that range. So just trying to drive this car a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can hear that turbo, but it's it's significantly louder than it normally was before we did the purge valve, which I'm pretty sure the purge valve has nothing to do with it, but I, I don't know what I touched, but it's pretty loud. Let's see if I can uh, duplicate it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it sounds amazing. I don't know if I got older overnight or something, but this exhaust is droning extremely loud right now. Like, I'm at the point where I'm over it, I'm just gonna get an actual exhaust because I can't do this. Like, I can't even listen to my music because I hear the it's so annoying. Like, I don't even care about being loud anymore. I just want no drone. Like, my ears are bleeding right now. So everybody knows that when you have a good amount of horsepower in a front wheel drive car, torque steer becomes a problem. So with that being said, it gets a little tough to shift in this car with one hand because you got to make sure that you hold the steering wheel with a grip. If you do not, you will do this, but way faster and with way more force. So that's why sometimes like when I'm recording me doing a pull, I'll let up off the gas press the clutch and shift and then I'll continue. That's why I never really bang gears um, when I'm recording. It's because I gotta hold the steering wheel with a grip and then after I get done doing that pull, I gotta make sure that the steering wheel is straight, clutch is in, shift, and then I continue doing what I'm doing. And then again, if, if, you, if you upgraded power in a front wheel drive car and it's a good amount of power, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put you guys on a seat. You're not gonna see anything but. Ooh, almost got T boned. I'm gonna show you guys what this car really sounds like when I'm pushing it. So everybody who wants to go E85, go Oxfield Kid, do the whole nine yards, this is gonna be your life right here. I've driven 146 miles and I'm at a quarter tank. Looking spicy. It's funny when people realize that I'm actually located in the valley. They like they like go nuts or go crazy. So yes, I'm located in the valley. Uh, also, there's a meet this Saturday that I'm thinking about going to because um, her friend met a guy I'm trying to see how to explain this. Her friend, met a, her friend met a guy and she realized that she was at a car meet and then they started talking and they were saying how there's a, ne there's a car meet next Saturday and that we should all go to. So long story short, it's in Brentwood, right? Mm -hmm. It's in Brentwood. I don't know if it's raining or not. If it's raining, I don't know if I'm gonna go. We might still go, but we might just take Lil's car. Um, but yeah, that's just like a heads up. Yeah, right, you guys, I'm taking the Nismo, what the heck? I'm not driving the Nismo. Yes. Yes, well, that car guys, can drive in the rain. If you guys are in the area and you know what I'm talking about, there's a there's a meet in Brentwood. I don't know the details. I just know because Lil told me. So I may or may not be there. Most likely we'll be there. I just gotta figure out what car we're taking. Um, but yeah, if you're in the area, come out, save us up. That'll be dope. But yeah, just know that we're gonna be there. 
honestly, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a big C7 fan. Like they're, that's so annoying. You hear that? Mm -hmm. I'm not a big C C7 fan, but that's clean. I thought it was a. Uh, but that right there? Is that back up? No, just park, babe. Come on, We're going in one store. That that's that's clean. Like a lie. I feel like his license plate's really easy like to I'd, remember. I would, I would prefer the C6 over the C7, but this one's pretty clean. You guys just love and there are people out there in the world that look out for you, even though you do not know them at all. Because literally, on our way home, there was a car that flashed us in broad daylight. And typically when that happens, that means that there's a cop above. So then we go around a corner and there's a cop that already pulled over a car. And then like not even a mile ahead, there's a, a motorcycle cop that has his radar out basically trying to wait and uh, catch a car so and it, it's that leads me to my next thing so if you guys follow me on Instagram then you already know but we already had an interaction with a cop earlier this week we got pulled over again and the thing with this pullover is he actually popped my hood but the thing is like I lost I literally lost count how many times I got my hood popped so the first incident was in Livermore which was this okay so I'll tell you no, I, I might even agree that it is fun to have a modified vehicle, okay? But when you're driving in downtown Livermore, disturbing the people that are there, when you drive through neighborhoods with your exhaust, it can be quite annoying to other people, okay. all right? Yeah, no, I, so I in order to get these things fixed, you're going to have to return your vehicle back to stock. Okay. I did not cite you for the catalytic converters because, again, I'm not an ASC certified master mechanic, but okay. I personally don't think that they're there. Okay, so uh, as far as the intake, so um, if Stop. I if I can get it like the sticker Stop. or whatever, so it, I, on your car. it would just have to be back to stock in order to get it signed off. You can if okay. if you have a carb sticker that belongs to that Roush intake, then that would that would count that would as, be acceptable. Okay. Do you have any other questions for me? No, nope, that's it. And then a recent incident was about last year. We were headed to a car meet. And literally, I was riding with a Corvette and a Camaro, and out of both cars, the cop pulls me over and says my car was the loudest even though I was the last one in line so that's pretty much why he caught me and it was this incident just like this yeah this is why I don't come to car meets dude every single time I get pulled over every single time well this is horrible every single time I get pulled over second time with you already being pulled over and of course he gets behind you right yep Never fails. do you want to turn off your car my exhaust you heard my exhaust yeah wow there was like four of the cars in front of me and Weird because there was a Corvette in front of you. And the correct, and there's actually it sounds louder than all of them. Okay, that's fine. Maybe they were in a taller gear, I don't know. No, that's fine. Uh just registration. That's my license, registration my registration on there. Uh that's maybe the oh, oh yeah, that's it. You need insurance too? No, don't worry about it. Uh is that your current address? Correct. And then recently, we got pulled over. So which makes what makes this situation annoying is I was literally on my way to work. Um, I was trying to get to work. He pulls me over and the first thing he asks when he pulls me over is, other than exhaust, what else do you have done to this car? So I right away tell him, I said, I have an intake with a carb legal cigarette underneath the hood. Do you want to see it? I'm always so willing to work with them because on these cars, the STs and the RSs, the turbo sits between the engine and the, the firewall. So you literally can't see anything, right? So then I get out, I pop my hood. He looks at the intake. He looks at the carb legal sticker. He goes in the back of the vehicle. He pulls his phone out, trying to, I guess, see if it's legit or not. And then he goes back to the intake, looks at it again. And then he says, oh, okay, you can close the hood now. So it's, it's just annoying having to deal with that. And it's crazy that literally the reason why us car guys in California that have to go through this is because all the side shows and people want to do burnouts, close down streets and stuff like that. And it's, it's, it's honestly annoying. I'm going I'm to say something real quick. 
it's the same thing as us saying that all cops are trash, all cops are bad, they're all crooked, this, this, and that, right? Well, it's the same thing as us car guys. Like, not every car guy is trying to do a donut. Not every, not every car guy is trying to, like, cause a scene and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just annoying that all of that stuff is literally, like, ruining the car scene. Because now, people that just want to mind their business and build cool cars and, like, just enjoy their cars have to go through us getting our hood popped can't do certain mods because it's going to show that if we ever get our hood popped then it's going to turn into a state ref and then it's going to turn into a bigger problem than what it should have been it, it just sucks it's honestly ruining the car scene but no matter how bad it gets i'm never going to let something that i love doing get ruined i'm always going to find ways around it it sucks that i get my hood popped but every single time i get my hood popped i have no worries because of the fact that everything in this car is hidden but for example, in the Nismo, if, like if I ever want to boost it, I actually want to put a top mount turbo on it because if I ever go to the car meets, you know, I can pop my hood, I can show it off, make it look cool, whatever. But I got to worry about in the back of my head is if I ever get pulled over, the cop's going to see that, he's going to automatically state ref me, and then it's going to turn into this big issue. So that that's that's the part that sucks. But at the end of the day, you just have to, uh, I don't know, just got to find ways around it. You guys remember when we did a ride along? <laughs> That that video almost has like 2,000 views. It's like 1.9. Jazzy. You think we should do another one? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Not right now. You, you want to do another one? She said not right now. <laughs> if this video gets 50 or 100, Lou? What? 50 likes. 100 likes. 100. If this video gets 100 likes, me and Maggie would do another ride along. Yeah, Maggie? Mm -hmm. All right, shake on it. Hold on. Shake on it. Mm -hmm. Dude. <laughs> So I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Give me some video ideas. If there's something that you guys want to see, let me know. Comment down below, let me know. Give me some video ideas. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. I want to sit myself. Listen. Listen. Listen.